What's going on guys? So by now many of you probably know I have a second YouTube channel called BTBRV Life where I feature pretty much stuff that I like to do in addition to RVs and trucks and other things. And a lot of the stuff that I actually talk about is related to equipment we use out here on the property, including my bad boy tractor, Toro Zero Turn that the folks from Toro provided me for review and evaluation, as well as the Skag, um, and a lot of other things. I do a lot of stuff. I've even talked about some of my drumming. Uh, I also play drum set, if those of you don't know. Uh, I've moved a lot of my e-bike content over to this channel as well. And, you know, it's just a really good resource for things that I also like to do aside from, you know, the typical RV stuff. That said, um, I got some cool products in the mail, and I want to show you, and it's directly related to these right here. So let's talk about that. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so when it comes to towing trucks, RVs, accessories, stuff like that, um, a lot of people like to come to my channel and watch that. But when it comes to lawn equipment, you know, there is a really, really great resource, and it's called Brian's Lawn Maintenance. And he's actually a close friend of mine, and he talks about everything lawn care, landscaping, um, the business of doing that, all of that. So you definitely want to go check out his channel. He's got a huge channel that is exclusively focused on running a, a, a successful business and building a successful business around lawn care and landscape. That said, uh, he saw a video of mine where I was talking about mower blades. And I swapped the mower blades out on the Skag and the Cheetah mowers uh, on the Cheetah twice. Actually, I'm on my second set of blades. There's about 25 hours on that mower. But on my Toro, uh, I think we've put four sets of blades on. So the difference is, is the Skag has about 25 hours on it. The Toro has about 175 hours on it in the period of time that we've had it. And the blades go dull really quickly because everything out here is sand, sandy loam, and it just eats through blades. So when, when we were talking, I asked him a question. I said, so how often do you sharpen your blades? And he said... Their rule of thumb is that they should do it about every eight hours, I think, every eight to ten hours. And I'm like, whoa, um, yeah, I am not doing that. I need to probably do that because the cut quality just dramatically goes down as your blades get duller and duller and duller. And he said, you know what? I want to send you some blades that we use. They're made from a company called Ballard, and these are the Ballard Gold Blades. It's a high lift blade, mulching elite blade. It's a hybrid blade because it actually has a tungsten carbide reinforced cutting edge. So this cutting edge right here is tungsten carbide reinforced. Um, let me show you what my blades look like after a relatively short time of usage. So this was the last mulching blade I put on. I think it was made by Oregon. Got it on either Amazon or some other site. This blade probably has 20 hours on it. The leading edge of this blade looks atrocious. It is beaten up. Um, I've hit stuff with it. It's just, it's pretty rough. I mean, I don't know how I could describe that as any other way. Plus it's super dull. Um, and these blades right here, they've been on the mower for a while. The blades I typically replace them with, or the blades that I usually keep on hand are these. It's a USA manufactured blade. Um, I get these on Amazon. Uh, relatively thin, not a super sharp edge. They are a high lift blade or a super high lift blade. And yeah, they work okay, but they also go dull pretty quickly. So I switched to this blade just to kind of try it out and see if it was any better. And it really wasn't. But next time we swap the blades out, I'm gonna be putting these bad boys on. Much thicker. So if I just lay it next to the blade, you can probably see that the blade is much thicker. It looks to be like quarter inch thick. Um, high lift as well. You also have the mulching portion to it. Blades are about the same weight, so they weigh about the same. The leading edge of the blade, though, has a really nice taper to it. It's not razor sharp or anything. And that's a question, though, that I've also wanted to ask, and I pr probably should ask someone who's more knowledgeable, and I didn't ask Brian last time I had him on the phone. But I've read on certain forums that you shouldn't sharpen mower blades to like a razor edge to where you can cut yourself with them. Um, this type of edge is really all you want. Uh, that kind of defeats the logic in my mind about, you know, cut quality because the sharper the blade is, sure it will dull over time, but it starts off super sharp, which why start off with a blade that's not, you know, razor sharp if you don't have to. 
But then the other side of my brain thinks, well, maybe if you make it too sharp, kind of like a razor blade, it can snap off or it can break. And then you have a really dull, blunt edge that you can't use to cut. So I don't know. Let me know. If you guys watch the channel and you, you're like a mowing enthusiast and you, you know a lot about this stuff, is it wise to really, really grind these down to a razor edge? Or is this type of edge what you're looking for? Is that the better edge for cutting? When you compare the Ballard blade to this blade right here, the edge is pretty sharp. The taper on it isn't quite as angled though as this one. So this is a far more angled cutting edge than this blade right here. But you know, again, this is just something I'd love to know your opinion on. Um, I will, again, swap these out once the blades that are currently on there are dulled out because I want to get a really, really good idea. And I'm tracking the hours now on the blades that I put on most recently. And I'll probably pull them off at about 10 hours and put these on. And I'll see how these wear and how they perform over that same 10-hour period. Now, one thing that I did notice, and this is the difference between the three blades, is when you look at how deep into the blade the cutting edge is this has a very very i don't know why they couldn't have just you know cut it out further in but the cutting edge is maybe six inches right here the cutting edge right here looks to be about seven and a half inches and the cutting edge right here looks to be about eight inches so i don't know how that factors into things but again if you're a lawn care landscaping expert or you're just a, a mower enthusiast let me know what you think anyways guys this is just a quick video I wanted to make, mainly to highlight the fact that I have another channel, BTBRV Life. Go check it out. There's a link in the description of this video if you want to check it out. And we talk more about this stuff, including swapping blades out and taking a look at them when they're, when they're done, doing oil changes on the mowers and tractors and doing other little projects out here at the property. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again real soon.